Welcome back everyone to the noon tropical update. We actually have a lot to update you on today. Uh, two systems including uh, recently named Idalia. So let's look at the big satellite image. So this is the entire Atlantic. Uh, Africa is over here. Uh, the southeastern United States is here. This is recently formed Idalia. This is Hurricane Franklin. So if we switch over to the graphics to sort of talk about where these systems are going to go and how, what sort of impacts, um, let's start first with, with Franklin out here in the Western Atlantic, not a direct impact to the continental United States, but a potential impact to Bermuda. So Bermuda is right here on the uh, southern edge of the cone. So all likelihood a hurricane will pass to their northwest, potentially having some peripheral impacts on them in the form of, of wind. Uh, high, high waves and rip currents, that sort of uh, feature. And then these waves will also propagate towards the eastern United States, increasing the chance of rip currents along the coast. So regardless of Idalia, uh, it's going to be unsafe to be at the beach. So make sure if you are going to the beach, always swim near a lifeguard. Now, most of you are turning in for Idalia. Idalia was just upgraded a few minutes ago to a tropical storm. It has now acquired a name. Maximum sustained winds are 40 miles per hour. Um, it's still basically in the same spot it's been in for the last day or so, sort of sitting there stationary, um, meandering, if you will. So not a lot of motion here. I'll go quickly over the watches and warnings. A tropical storm warning, this blue area for the eastern tip of the Yucatan Peninsula. Tropical storm warning also for the western uh, province of Cuba. No watches and warnings as of this particular moment for the continental United States, but they may be required as soon as this afternoon, this evening. So please tune back to the five o'clock recording live uh, stream to get that information. So where is Adalia going? Very similar to what we talked about yesterday. No large changes in the overall track reasoning with the system sort of staying stationary for the rest of the day overnight, then starting a, a motion towards the north and north-northeast uh, Monday and Tuesday, potentially bringing a hurricane to the western portion of the Florida Peninsula, a western portion of Florida coast or Florida Peninsula. Max winds right now forecast to be 90 miles per hour. So if you're anywhere along the Florida Peninsula, Western Florida Peninsula, so let's say from about uh, Fort Myers northward to the Panhandle, you really got to be paying attention even if you're outside of the cone. Why? Why is that? The hazards are going to extend away from the center. So that's very important to, uh, to understand. The hazards will extend away from the center. So even if you're not in this white cone area, you have to be paying attention. After it moves over northern Florida, it moves uh, up into the southeast United States or along the coast. And we really have to watch. You in Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina really have to pay attention. If it's a little bit farther inland, uh, maybe weaker, a little bit farther offshore, maybe a little stronger. So it's too much too soon to detail the impacts uh, for you up in here. So you really need to be staying, uh, staying close contact with the forecast and tuning in often. I think most people know by now that this portion of the Florida Peninsula is very storm surge vulnerable. So it will not take a strong system or a direct hit to produce significant storm surge. And if you tune back in at five o'clock, we're gonna start unpacking the impacts of who's gonna get surge and how much. So be sure to come back again this afternoon for the evening uh, version of this live briefing. Now, in terms of timing, in terms of timing, it's really looking like the system would, uh, in terms of tropical storm force winds, uh, brushing up against the western portion of the Florida Peninsula over here uh, in around the Tampa area as early as Tuesday. So Tuesday morning, what does that mean for you? That means you need to have your preparation done by Monday sunset, Monday sunset. And then up in here in the Florida Big Bend or Florida Peninsula, uh, Florida Panhandle, um, sometime during the day, Tuesday or Tuesday evening. So you, you might have a little bit of time up here Tuesday morning, but you too should probably have your preparations done by sunset on Monday. In terms of rainfall, we talked about this yesterday. Regardless of where the storm goes and the exact track 
looking like a big rainfall producer as it moves into the uh, over the portions of the Florida Peninsula through Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, potentially producing uh, quite a bit of rain uh, mid and late week. So mid and late week for, for you up in here. As I said, we're going to have a lot more details on the potential impacts in the, in the five uh, update and the 530 live stream. So please be sure to tune back in. These systems, as we said so many times, the systems can and will change. So it's imperative that you check back at least two times a day so that you always have the latest information on this evolving system. That's it for us. If you want more updates in between these live streams, you can always get those on hurricanes.gov.